Log Talk Radio. Hello, Berkeley. This Hello. is the Girl George and the Dragons uh, radio show. This is Girl George, and as Carlos Guitaros once said, the dragons are anyone you can drag on stage. So I guess you're the dragons. Today we got the world famous Freddie Roulette. He's a, a lap steel guitar player. He was on my TV show like about 35 years ago. Hello, Freddie. What you doing? Oh, sitting here waiting on my interview. <laughs> <laughs> Who all have you played with? I know you've played with Frank Zappa. Who else have you played with? Oh, Charlie Musselwhite. And the list goes on and on. Well, tell me. Tell me about it. Well, I was just... Uh... Finished this album here <clears throat> with kind of with the locals on the side of the bay, and that turned out to be pretty good. A little bit of engineering, we just did it right off the wing it off, so it sounds pretty good. So, as long as the people like it, you know, I'll just do my best. <laughs> but then, uh, let's see, uh, people on this album are, you know, the Kathy McDonald had passed away, so this is one of her last recordings, and. Uh, and uh, I just thought it would be a nice memorial deal for her. I already made that public. Uh, let's see. Uh, Harvey Mandel is the engineer as usual. He did my first uh, CD, my first vinyl album when I came to the U.S., I mean to California. And uh, that turned out to be pretty good. It's, it's still selling in the stores. Uh, all the people I've played with, oh, Lord, uh, the, the list goes on. Well, I said Charlie Muscle, Whitehart, Mandel, you know, like a lot of the locals. Uh, and uh, who else did I play? But a uh, oh, bunch of you know, bunch of people. I don't have a list here. But most of the people that are on this album, I, I played with around in, in the East Bay and in San Francisco. I've been doing a lot of local stuff. Uh, I've been at uh, the, the Paris, France, and did some uh, albums with a uh, with a uh, the guy that's. Uh, Local there too. It seems to be local musicians, even when I go to Europe. So, <laughs> so it's just a. So you played in Europe album. too, huh? You played oh. in Europe too. Yeah, Germany, Czech Republic. You know, a lot of people. And uh, what most about of the people France? I just you met. played France. Have you played uh, yeah, France or England? Like yeah, I was coming to that. We did the French tour from Paris. Did a few gigs in Paris, and we did the whole circuit. They had all the festivals in France. And I went to Southern France, Nancy, and all of those places that you, that you can go to when you're when you're a musician, I guess. <laughs> How about <laughs> Spain? That... Have, have you been to Spain? No, I've been to I've been to Sweet. I've been to uh, I've been to uh, France, Germany, Czech Republic, Canada. You know, you know, just jumping around a little bit. How about Japan? Have you been to Japan? I've been to Japan once, and that was in, in wow. the 80s. That's kind of Kind of they seem to like little... American music over there. All the people I uh, uh, talked yeah, to actually, went there to Europe, love it. Yeah, uh, I, I could survive in Europe, but I just I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, US. some of, some of the musicians went and, and lived over in the Netherlands now. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess around, it's yeah. cheaper. Well, uh, it's, how it's, about uh, Australia? Have you been down to Australia? No, I haven't been anywhere in the Pacific except uh, Japan. Yeah, Japan. And uh, the rest of the stuff, yeah, I've been to, uh, you know, I've been across country, like the locals, like uh, Seattle and uh, Chicago and you know, places like that. New York? So You've been to New York? Uh, about a couple of times, yeah, but that was that was way back when. As a matter of fact, that was when I did my first album with, with uh, Harvey Mandel, produced my first vinyl, uh, Sweet Funky Steel. What year was that? Uh, 1964. Yeah, sixty-three, sixty-four, somewhere, somewhere in there. Yeah. Where are you I from? Have, I don't have copies. I'm from the north side of Chicago. 
No, I'm from the You're north from side of Chicago. Chicago, which is Evanston, wow. Illinois. Yes, Evanston, Illinois. And it's, Evanston is right, right on the borderline of Howard Street, which separates Chicago from Evanston. <laughs> It's much much cool. like the East Bay. You cross the street and you're in a different city. So, so, so how everything. many kids in your family? How many kids in your family? I got one daughter. Well, what about your family? Your your brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers and sisters? No, I'm an only child, actually. Only child. What did your father do? What kind of work did well, they I'm do? I'm an only parent. <laughs> you, you mean you only had a mother, no father? <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> No, I'm just kidding with you. No, I, I have a, uh, what was the question? I said, what did your mother and father do for a living? What kind of work did they My do? My mother's a beautician. She had passed away about three years ago. Uh, I'll say, where are you playing now? How about that? What uh, the current? Kind of Who's on this new album? Know. Name everybody that's on this new album you're making. Everybody that's on the new album. Okay. Uh, Kathy McDonald, who had just passed away, uh, did a memorial, always did that. And Davey Peterson, I'm uh, sorry, Davey Patterson and Chris Cobb, which are local local musicians. And uh, everybody is on this album. Uh, Chris Cobb, Steve Lund. These are all local musicians, like I said. I don't know whether you would know who they were or not. Uh, some of them, yeah, Chris Cobb, and Charlie Musselwhite, Harvey Mandel. Pete Sears on piano, and you know, just a conglomeration of uh, rhythm sections that I got right here from the lo- from the Bay Area, which makes us out kind of unique. When did Hello? you play with Frank Zappa? Oh, that was back in the uh, it was Ruth Ruth Underwood and what was the other guy's name? I don't, I don't have the things here. I just got, I'm reading off of my uh, Freddie Valletta album, jamming with friends. Uh, this one is, I thought I'd be just, uh, you know, just kind of promoting this one because I don't have all the copies. I certainly don't have the vinyl of Freddie Roulette here in my room here. Everything is, is, uh, stashed away on my records, with the rest of my records, which are not in this room. So and, when did uh, you come to the Bay Area? When did you come to the Bay Area? I came here, I, actually, Bay Area. I came, I came out with Charlie Musselwhite Band. And before that, I was playing with Earl Hooker. Earl Hooker, uh huh, famous guitar player, and a lot of you know, and uh, just a lot of people that I knew, you know, from, from way back when. You know, just, we just uh, I I didn't even know I was going to be able to do this this CD for this year, but uh, you know, if things came along, so I said, why not? You know, I haven't, I haven't put one out there in a while. You know. So the latest one is Freddie Willard Jamming with Friends, and that's uh, that's the one I'm promoting now. Uh, so are you going to be playing at the Saloon pretty soon in, in San Francisco? I'll be or playing at play the there? Saloon. I'll be, uh, I'll be at the Saloon in March. Uh, I don't know the exact date, but it'll probably be on Thursday. Uh, I'm Everyone still, plays I'm still at playing, the Saloon. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm playing locally like everybody else. <laughs> so that's I used to play in North played, Street for years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm just waiting for my for another. I might go to Canada. I don't know where I'm wind up next. But I'm just getting my passport renewed and all that, so I'm getting ready. So. That'd be cool going to Canada. But go there in, well, go there in the Canada, summer I've when they're so cold. Yeah, yeah, with, with <laughs> a lot of rhythm sections. And uh-huh. I, I've been, I went to France. I did a, a CD for France for for, for a local uh, musician there. He sings blues in French, so I, they set, sent me over to do, to be on their album, so it's good. So and how then, old were you when you first started playing guitar? Oh, actually, I was very, you know, I was really kind of young. Let's see, uh, 18, 19, I was on the south side uh, being bluesified because I was raised in, and uh, I wasn't raised in the south. I was raised in Evanston, Illinois, which is my uh, my birthplace. Which is on the north side of Chicago, which is a suburb of, you know, you know that. Did you start with a lap guitar, or did you start with a regular guitar? Actually, I taught it with a pedal steel, but I didn't like it. Wow. It was too complex, and it was, and it was uh, I was just a rookie, you know, just learning, uh, 
there's still there's so many ways of tuning a steel guitar, so I just had my own tuning, my own uh, my own style of playing it, which, which that's the only unique thing about it. I imagine. So you've never played a regular guitar? Uh, actually, no, not not on gigs. No, I never needed a to hear a regular guitar. That's the reason why I played steel in the first place because there were guitar players are coming out of the woodwork, so I didn't have any particular. Uh, signature sound for playing a regular guitar, but for steel guitar, I developed a blues style of playing, which is uh, yeah. There isn't that came... many blues blues steel guitar players. Well, I think close to that was Earl Hooker. Like I said, I was playing with Earl Hooker before I came out to uh, California with Charlie Musselwhite. So. Uh huh. And he had he's the one that invented the well he innovated the the slide guitar. I don't know uh-huh. very many people know that, but he's the one that uh, started playing slide on a regular guitar, and it sounded like uh, me playing on a steel guitar because we uh, played a lot of venues with Earl Hooker. So you Which sing too, easy. or just play guitar? Oh, definitely. I'm on. I'm on the CD here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that, you sing, sing too. Yeah, sing. I put one up there of you doing uh, some blues songs. Yeah, it's directly from my heart to you by the late Kathy McDonald. Key to the Highway is uh, some of my vocals, and I got a nice instrumental called Mojo. Those are the first three cuts on the CD, and uh, the rest of them are, uh, you know, just regular cover songs. And I, uh, you know, we do we just did something together just to, you know, keep something out there that that could be sellable, you know, for sale. Do you write songs too? Uh, no, it's one thing I have a handicap about. I'm not a good lyricist, but I I can sing, and, and I have my own style of playing, which is which I've been doing for decades. Yeah, well, I suppose you could write with somebody. They do the lyrics, and you could do the music. Yeah, that's about one of the. I'm mostly a lyricist myself. I mean, I could care less about the music. Let somebody else do that. Yeah, I like orchestral orchestral arrangements. Uh, uh-huh. for, like I take uh, cover songs, but then I make them kind of like my own because I reorchestrate everything I do practically. But uh, everything but the melody lines where people will know what I'm playing. <laughs> it's really familiar to them. It, it's complicated. <laughs> you you played with that guy Deke or what? That country? Yeah, Deke. Sort of? uh, the geek, yeah, I just did that last one there in L.A. And uh, that this last one that I think you're gonna have that was a great uh, the geek convention that was in Los Angeles. <laughs> uh, I mean Orange County, you know, you know the places over there. Actually, it was right across the street from Disneyland. I come to think of it, uh, was Anaheim. Anaheim, that's what I was looking for. That. Yeah. And so you played with uh, uh, Honey Davis too, huh? Yeah, Honey Davis. Is, we go back way, way, way back. You know this. When I first came to California, yeah. uh, me and Honey Davis uh, got together on a few things, and we uh, did a few little recordings for for our sake, not for any sale or anything like that. But uh, it kept us working. It was, <laughs> it was good. Well, Honey Davis was my backup band on my TV show. That's how you end up on my TV show. He brought you on. Oh, uh huh. And he he played with me off and on for years. And Mary played with me before. Before she got yeah. with him, Mary, his ex-wife, that, that yeah. died. Mm-hmm. You know, the yeah. keyboard player, she played him in Oregon. She was great. She's a real sweet girl. Yeah, brings back old memories. Goes Did you know Carlos Guitarlos, too? Yeah, I know Carlos Guitarlos now. Yeah, I've been yeah, trying to get him on his show. Crazy Carlos. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he plays over at the Seven Mile, High, Seven Mile House on uh, Bayshore Boulevard. Well, he comes to, to the Bay Area every uh, about every six months and plays around here. He yeah. is he yeah. lives in L.A. again now, but he still oh, comes okay. back here and plays plays about two, twice a year or so. Uh huh. Good. He came back by the club and, and played on my birthday at the Missouri yeah. Lounge. <laughs> yeah. Surprised everybody. Yeah, I got to come over there next Wednesday if, if, if you're playing there. Yeah, you got to come it. down. They would love you. Yeah. They'd love you. <laughs> Were you playing outside? Have you been there? Oh yes, yeah. Uh, Paul said that you'd been there before. Because when I asked, he knew. He said, was, "Oh yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I've been here and played here before." 
Yeah, a couple so you of years ago. It was, it was just a little jam session thing. I just went over to see some people that I know. Yeah, he said there was some kind of blues night going there or something. Yeah, it was. It was. I think it was, I don't know, it was on a Wednesday. I don't remember what day it was, but it was, it was, it was nice. It was good. It was like a local thing. Yeah, yeah. So so you've been living in the Bay Area quite a while, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, we got Zappa and we got Muscle White. Those are pretty big. Well, yeah. Well, well I already mentioned them. I was trying to think of some of Names and everything. Like I told you, I, I, you know Lisa Kendridge. You know Lisa, yeah, know Lisa Kendridge. She plays plays down at the saloon all the time. Saloon, yeah. Actually, she you know her. She's a new she owner did. of the saloon. Yeah, I didn't she know did. that. She bought the saloon. I didn't know that either until I thought. Wow, well, where'd she get the money to do that? <laughs> I don't go into that. <laughs> Blue figures have the money to buy a saloon. Wow. Well, well that's she's cool. She, she was around before I was. Uh, she was yeah. in North Beach when I first came down there. Yeah, she and I Gino guess Skaggs she's still there. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I was surprised too. I, you know, I learned that. I learned that this year. I did not know that she had owned the uh, saloon uh, when she got. It. I thought Myron was still owning it. You know. Somebody and had I, mentioned that to me, and I didn't believe him. <laughs> oh, I, I never believed knew him because I was there. Had any you know. money? No, I don't. Uh, well, I don't ask God. questions about who did what. I just want to know who, you know, who is. <laughs> or how you do it. It's not my business. Uh, do you ever play at the Grant and Green? Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, on the on the, on the Loma Prieta earthquake, I was supposed to play that Tuesday. I remember what day it was. It was five o'clock. <laughs> That's when it hit. <laughs> and I was scheduled to play that night at the, at the Grant and Green. Never so did it. you play? <laughs> did you play? <laughs> no, you everything play? was all. I couldn't even get across the bridge. Was, the bridge, Bay Bridge, fell down. Oh, Mike Wilhelm was on the bridge on a motorcycle when it came down. Oh Lord! You're and and he me. turned around to go back the other way, and people no were way. trying to jump on his 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 uh, motorcycle Bike because they were all scared and they wanted to get off, and they were going to steal his motorcycle from him. So he just <laughs> lured it and, and and took off off the bridge. But he was on the bridge when it fell down right in front of him, and he turned around and went the other way. How about that? <laughs> Well, I was in the hardware store getting ready to actually get on the bridge, and I never made it over there. I just went back home and said, nothing's going to happen because the Bay Bridge fell down. Yeah. <laughs> so I back home. Well, I was, I was in, in the L.A., store. So, so we had our own little earthquake there. Uh, I oh, wasn't yeah. here when the, the, we had them a few months apart, I think. The one we had in L.A. and the one you had here were right around each other. Yeah. And that whole town fell down, too. A couple of houses fell off their their bearings, and you know the gas was shooting out and stuff. It was pretty hairy. Yeah, well, that was it. it was but I guess that's what we get for living in in, in uh, California, where we got great weather and everything, except for every once in a while. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I went back over the bridges fall down, huh? True, true. At that time, I was actually I was doing a lot of stuff with uh, Johnny Nitro, and uh, he's a local guitar player too. That he's uh, pretty well known, and he played the saloon every Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Friday. Johnny Saturday, Nitro. Something. Yeah, Johnny Nitro. And the yeah, yeah. Slammer. He just died a while back, didn't he? Yeah, he had a, he had a second heart attack. And I, I, yeah. He just didn't make so you used to play with him too. Oh, yeah, I'm on a couple of his albums. Well, that's cool. Also, Pete Sears, and uh, who's, uh, always comes around and helps out. And then there's, uh, let's see, who else is there on there? I don't have my list here, but that, anyway, I can uh, tell you this. Like I said, I play with a lot. Of, all these guys are well-known, but local musicians, so... Whenever I'm on my little hiatus, when I'm just hanging around for any particular period of time, like we just start uh, playing with a whole bunch of other people using different rhythm sections, which I do all the time. I change drummers, or you know, I have a list of uh, rhythm, rhythm, 
rhythm <laughs> numbers. Like I need a bass player, I need a drummer, so I can get out my index. Because they, they all know how I play, you know. So it's, it's really good. And you don't Even have that much competition. You. You're practically the only one around here that does that. Oh, uh, does what? <laughs> Plays what lap guitar. Plays lap guitar. Uh, yeah. Well, I went to the uh, the uh, the geek the geek uh, thing in Anaheim. I mean, I had my steel guitar out, and I had all all my. Uh, I even, I even endorsed a, uh, an amplifier, the, the Quilter amp. So they said, "Oh, I'm gonna send you one." So they sent me one because I I did the, one of the sets with their with their, with, you know, with their amp that they got out. The new Quilter amp is a nice little power amp that that works really good on different occasions. So I did that, and that's uh, that was just recent. It was only you know last year sometime. It was good. And let's see, got the. I'm trying to get these names, but I can't pull them up. I'm in my bedroom, believe it or not. <laughs> and I'm not at the band. So, house what's the or, name of your latest album? We've got about seven minutes left. Oh, so what's the name trailer. of your latest album? Let's plug everything you got to plug your album, where you're playing, and all that stuff. Okay, well, right now, like I'm saying, I'm playing locally at like the saloon. I have other gigs coming up that I haven't even written down yet, so they haven't been confirmed. But, you know, it's all local stuff. The funny thing about Freddie Roulette, he doesn't have a, an agent for where he lives in the vicinity. Like, uh, I'm here and I'm based in the Bay Area, but my music agents are in France, Germany, and Canada at the moment. Oh, great. <laughs> but they're not. They won't get me any gigs for for where I live at, which is strange. But that's yeah. that's good. Whatever I'm getting going out of town, I mean, they know I'm coming months ahead before I even you know, step on the plane. So it takes them a long time to do a European tour or even a Canadian tour for that kind of thing. Of it. So your so new it, album is called what? Uh, Freddie Roulette jamming with friends, which jamming is exactly what it is. Mm-hmm. And you have a Facebook uh, uh, page called Freddie Roulette, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Freddie Roulette. And uh, you'll be playing at the uh, Saloon in San Francisco on Upper Grant Street. Uh, yeah. Sometime be, in March. Be up to, it'll be a Thursday in March. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Oh, they can find it. They can gig, but I check. haven't written it in. Yeah, he's making up the, the band roster for for that. Oh, thing. you can check on uh, with the computer nowadays. You can find any. Sure, yeah. So just, just Facebook. Look yeah. at the saloon in March, and you'll find you. You'll find it. So yeah. it was it was great talking to you again, mm-hmm. having you on the on the show and all that stuff. Oh, well, it's great. It's great. Yeah. I wasn't I wasn't expecting a radio interview. <laughs> oh, I've been doing this for about a year now. Yeah, one all. So, so I did. I did a TV show for five years. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. And, and so I've been doing the radio show here for about a year. This is much mm-hmm. easier because it's all over the phone, so they can be anywhere in the world. I've been interviewing oh, people sure. in New York and Nashville and Seattle and wherever because it's all on the phone. So, so they don't have to come into the studio and all that stuff. So. Mm-hmm. So all yeah, I've been I know doing you actually that. is interviewing my old friends, people I've known. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with the computer, everybody's on, on Facebook, so I can find them there and just get them from there. So this is mm-hmm. cool. Yeah, Tony. Tony's doing my website, so yeah, I know you told Tony already. So what's Tony's call him? name? Huh? What's Tony's oh. full name? Oh, her full name? I can't pronounce it. She's Puerto Rican. I don't know what the... Does I she have a, a band or something? Uh, no, she's a music teacher. She's teaching music right now. And uh, right over here on East Bay, on Pinot uh-huh. Valley Road. Yeah. So she does her little thing. But she's doing my website for me and taking care of my uh, my computer. Well, you know, that's good. you got to learn how to do it good. yourself. <laughs> well, I don't, you know, yeah, I'm too lazy. I'm a musician. I, don't know that. I pay attention to to what I play. That's about it. So, so you can have a, do you have a copy of this, don't you, Freddie Willett, Jam with Rents? Well, I, I can get it off of uh, 
YouTube. Most of the stuff's up on YouTube, so I just I can just bring it down off of that, so there's no problem with that. Oh, okay. That sounds good. And, and when I put this up on YouTube, I'll just put it in a a playlist, so your song will come right after the show. Cool. So if cool. you keep playing the show, it'll go right into one of Freddie's songs. <laughs> See, that the computer is great. You know, you can just hook everything together. <laughs> sure, just make it. I like the first three, so everything is cool. <laughs> so, which which song is your favorite one that you got up there? I like a thrill oh. is the thrill is gone. It sounds really good. Yeah. With you playing, my heart, that's getting no. It's, and it's, I'm, it's I'm one of your albums. It. Somebody put up there. Yeah, well, it's probably it's probably from the uh, the Chicago album. Uh huh. Yeah, it's from from early one. And then uh, Sleepwalk. There's a lot of you doing Sleepwalk. Yeah, that's a That's one of my over. all-time favorite songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm using the rhythm section is doing most of the, I'm doing three vocals on the uh, on this uh, on this uh, album I got here now. But uh, a lot of the the rhythm sections are from uh, other bands, and some of some of the rhythm sections are from two bands. Uh huh. And Chris Cobb, uh, he's got his own deal, his own band. Kathy McDonald, who, you know, has is, is had her own her own band. And I'm just taking uh, rhythm sections from each part of these uh, these individuals. You know, they're rhythm sections. And I thought well, Harvey that's Mandel great. does the magic work of uh, engineering. Harvey does all my recording stuff. He engineers everything I do. That's great. That, that I have on uh, that I have for sale. This is great. Well, thank you for being on my show. This is the Girl George and the Dragons radio show, and this is Girl George. And I'd like to say adios and good night, and uh, see you later, alligator, and catch you on the radio. You know, I think I'll, I think I'll be able to see that you that. coming. Uh, probably come to see you this Wednesday. Coming up, you're going to be at the in Missouri. Great, I'll be at the Missouri Lounge in Berkeley. Good, I'll have to Wednesday. mail you a copy. Of, yeah, seven I'll, I'll o'clock, be, just come on down. I'll anyway, see you there. You know I'm about five or ten. Mic. You know I'm about five or ten minutes away from there. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a Berkeleyite again. <laughs> yeah, me too. So I'll see you down there, and thank you for for coming, and uh, uh, see you later, alligator. And I'll bring you a couple of Freddie Roulette copies for free. All right. Good night. Everybody's crazy. Yeah.